There are, of course, those who do not want us to speak. I think our freedoms are slowly getting taken away from us, especially when it comes to governments and military crimes and, and things politicians are doing wrong and no one's standing up to it. The way we're going, it's not going to last forever. I think the, the capitalist system they've got set up is, is bound to burst. Look, we've got the 1% who rule the world. Our food supplies are, are going. We don't need the 1%. We don't need the Rothschilds and the Morgans and the Rockefellers. We need humanity to unite. That's what we need. I think that because we're looking at the word revolution has such a negative connotation with some people, so we can just say we want to affect positive change, and to me that's revolution. You know, we're just trapped in endless debt. Consuming, consuming, consuming while we are destroying, 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 taking, taking, taking. Oh, I'd love to see a revolution. Uh, I mean, if everybody turned around and said no, then it would be awesome if everybody said no. The governments would shit themselves, corporations would shit themselves. I think ever since the 80s, really, um, everything's been going downhill very fast. Um, in any way, every way, shape, or form. Um, and it can pretty much stay based in Reaganomics and Thatcher, Thatcherism. Um, and through that, it's spread all through the world. And a lot of people don't even realise what's happening. They don't even realise that we're living in an empire age as we speak. Um, and it's really unfortunate that we are segregated to a small minority of the people that actually know the truth. Ever since I became politically aware, I've been making it, I'm now making it my life mission to try and stem a revolution. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, but I'm really interested in um, anarchism, anarcho-syndicalism, um, libertarian socialism. Uh, there's lots of different concepts that I think could work in our society. It would take uh, decades and it would take a mass um, change of mind from the general public, but I think it's possible. Sadly enough, I think there's going to be a lot of pain and a lot of hurt before it gets any better. Basically, the fact that we're the 99 percent and the entire government does not really give a fuck. I've been looking at some shit lately that have really disgusted me, including the TPPA. And to be honest, I think that us as a human race really need to do something. And it's not going to happen with one person. It's not going to happen in one day. But all of us band together, enough of us and enough times, we will get our point across. And they have to listen to us. Like I said, we are the 99%. There's only 1% of them, 99% of us. What are they going to do? Give us our freedom. We're human beings. We deserve it. Or we're going to take it. Either way, but a revolution is going to happen sooner or later. In this day and age, in my years, in someone else's years, in the next generation, sooner or later it's going to happen. And I'm here when it will be happening. And if it happens tonight, then so be it. I'm here today to fight for my basic freedom. I'm part of the 99%, and we in the 99% go to work every day. We slave, and for what? So that you can scare us and control us? Well, no more. We are speaking up. We are coming together, and we are hitting the streets. You politicians, you want to be really, really scared. And you corporations want to be even more scared. Because we are anonymous, we are reaching, we are growing. We do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us.